Um, I rise to support Amendment 80 and partially uh, Amendment 81. On Amendment 80, I think it is common sense and helpful to all sides of the debates that we've heard in relation to this bill uh, that have been thrown up by our discussions um, uh, committee and report that we know more. As the noble Baroness, Baroness uh, Neville Rolf, has already uh, said to us, whatever our analysis or our principles, we would all be helped if we had reliable data in the public square on asylum and immigration, because then we could perhaps do some myth-busting. When you talk to people outside of this House, there are a range of responses to this issue and indeed to our discussions here on this bill. There is some perception that borders are open and that there are too many people flooding into the UK for society to cope. And some people will even go so far as to say that we're full. I don't think we're full, but it does look as though, for, as far as people are concerned, that we're being overwhelmed. And they use the visual evidence um, of their own eyes of watching weekly, sometimes daily, people crossing the English Channel with a perception that nothing's being done even though I know that this bill is precisely trying to do something about that. But the perception is that there's all these people coming in, nothing's being done. And I've said before in these debates that I do not believe that those people making the observation in the public are motivated by xenophobia. Um, but there are a number of observations. The UK may not be full, it is not full. But if you live in many towns, maybe where there's a chronic housing shortage, and you're near the top of the housing list, and then you get bumped, and you have a perception it's to do with immigration because some people uh, are refugee, uh, refugees are given housing. Then people, British citizens from all ethnicities, can become frustrated and can feel as though, indeed, there are too many people coming to the UK. Now, it seems to me that we need to have the figures in order to be able to refute that or to do something about it. But also, as it happens, you need the figures to plan how we can get more housing so that you can actually deal with the lack of services because actually the problem is not too many people, but not enough services. But we need to be able to know that, and that's why the data is helpful. My second point is there's a lack of trust that those in authority are not prepared to tackle this issue, that it's too difficult. And often that takes the form of people believing that, they, that there are lies being told about figures, that the, the numbers are being hidden. And I think that therefore it's in all our interests in restoring trust that we are not hiding any figures. There remains also, it seems to me, confusion over different categories of people wanting to come to the UK. And even in this House, throughout this debate, there's been some slippage between talking about migrants, immigration, asylum-seeking, uh, refugees and so on. They're all conflated, or too often. And this is also, I think, confused by reality because, for example, in my view, there's not enough opportunities for unskilled economic migrants to make their life here. I have to persuade my fellow citizens that they don't necessarily agree. But regardless, I think that because of that, many are undoubtedly presenting themselves as asylum seekers. So I know it's not a clear picture. But nonetheless, I just think it would help detoxify the issue if politicians were open and honest. And that means having much more granular information about the numbers of all types of people living in the UK and their status in the UK. My, finally, my reservation about Amendment 81, um, asking for weekly figures of the numbers entering the UK across the English Channel, my reservations are based on the image of some kind of ghastly nightly announcement, like those COVID death announcements, um, which were so often demoralising, not necessarily very reliable, and I do worry about scaremongering, or that stats or numbers might be used as a substitution for analysis or context. But on balance and overall, I believe that sunlight is the best disinfectant, and I think the more information in the public realm, the better. And this is not because I'm particularly enthusiastic about data or into number crunching, unlike uh, the Lords. Um, no nation state can claim to have meaningful sovereignty if it does not know, doesn't check, or has no control over the number of people living within its borders. And it comes over as an indifference to the worries of people who are already citizens here um, if it looks like we're being evasive about those numbers or not telling them openly the truth. Uh, I hope I don't uh, disappoint a noble...